Luis Garcia is on the mound for the Astros, spreading COVID on the ball, and he's got some locks, but don't let that distract you from the fact that the Astros are up 7-0. After a single and a walk, Garcia gets the ground ball right back up the middle, he fields it, and we got an out at second. Watch the replay, we don't got an out at second though. Call gets changed, bases are loaded now, and this double scores 3 runs, Mariners are still down 7-3. Now next inning, Astros score a run, so they're up 8-3 now. And after two singles, Kyle Seager hits a jack, 8-6. Getting close now. Now the inning after that, after a walk, we got up at the plate, arguably the greatest name in baseball, Shed Long Jr. The ball does a between-the-legs dribble move, and this dinker scores in another run. And there you go. It's 8-7, and the Mariners have an actual chance at winning this game now. Top of the eighth, single from Ty France. Walk from Kellenic, and now Dusty Baker's coming out, and he signals for the lefty with his little OJ Simpson gloves on. The lefty Dusty Baker decides to bring in is Brooks Bailey, and these are his splits against righties versus lefties, and he clearly cannot pitch to righties. Now, good thing for the Astros, up plate for the Mariners is left handed hitter Shed Long Jr., our guy. Except it's not Shed Long Jr. because the Mariners have pinch hitters, remember? So now we got a righty, Tom Murphy, at the plate. And after two strikes, he takes ball one. He's scared he's going to strike out, peeks in at a couple signs, trying to figure out what's going on. And I guess he liked what he saw because he ends up taking ball two, ball three, ball four. It's a walk. Bases are loaded for the Mariners. Now we got another righty at the plate, Dylan Moore. And look at where the catcher sets up. Inside, misses inside, ball one. Second pitch, again the catcher sets up inside. And this time he gets the batter swing, fouls it off. Third pitch, 1-1, one one, again set up inside, misses his spot, and there you go. The Mariners just took the lead. Moore crosses home, celebrates with his other white frat boys. Shed Long is dancing from the back of the bench. He's clearly not mad that he got pinch hit for. But Rayleigh still has to finish the inning, so let's get back to the action. Ball one, inside, leaves a pitch right down the middle, foul ball, strike one. Catcher sets up in the middle of the plate, misses in, ball two. Catcher sets up outside now, misses in, ball three. Catcher sets up outside again. This time Rayleigh hits the batter. Everyone is shocked except for this guy who's cheering him on. Scott Cervais is yelling from the dugout, cussing out a storm while there are kids in the back. Umpires gather and he gone. Why is he gone? I'm not quite sure. I think they thought he was intentionally throwing at Crawford, which doesn't really make sense. Why would he sneak a pitch right down the middle if he was throwing at Crawford? Not quite sure. Also though, he's throwing like 80, 85. Like, that's not going to hurt that bad. So I don't know if this is the right guy, right occasion to throw at people. But yeah, that's just as bad as a relief pitcher can do in an outing. He walks a hitter, gives up a game-winning grand slam, hits a batter, and then is ejected. Now, if you want a chance to win two free Padres tickets, go to rossasietewear.com right now, and they're having a promo where if you buy a mystery item from their store for $25, you will receive 15 raffle tickets with your purchase. And if your ticket is chosen, you'll win two Compass Premier Club tickets to the August 20th Padres game against the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, you have to follow Ross Asiete on Instagram in order to find out who wins, because they'll be posting all that info on their page, at Ross Asiete. So go buy your item. Get your free raffle tickets and follow their Instagram.